Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to hopefully my final tutorial on how to install the custom car mod in distance. Probably not my final tutorial as um, Nico and Syastex, the people who have been working um, respectively on Spectrum and the custom car mod have hinted of moving to Centrifuge, which is a different mod framework, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, so let's just dive right into it. So first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got 7-zip. I've got a link to it in the description. Just go ahead and download and install that. Second step is that you need to download the mod itself. Um, just put it in a folder in on your desktop or in the base game, wherever you are comfortable having it. Third step is to delete any pre-existing Spectrum files. Um, now, this step and the step following it, you can ignore if you are installing the custom car fresh and you have not installed um, that or any other mods on distance before. Step four, verify integrity of distance through Steam. Pretty easy, you just find it in your library and then hit uh, right click, hit properties, hit um, local files, and then verify integrity of game cache. All right, now we get to the point where we've actually got to move some files around. Um, this can be a little bit tricky if you think about it too much, um, but there's really only one thing you got to do. Open the distance data folder like I'm showing you here, uh, and then drag and drop the files in directly, and then hit yes um, if it wants to replace anything. All right, now that you have actually moved the files around, what you want to do is run the spectrum install.bat within your managed folder. This will actually patch uh, the game executable, which is important because without that, none of the mod stuff will work. Um, if you get an error saying it's already been installed, then proceed past this step. Next step, pretty straightforward, just start the game. Um, what this will do is create some folders that you'll need later on. Once you've got the game started, just go ahead and make sure that it starts up and then close it. And that's all of step seven. Next, you're going to want to create a folder called custom car within the Spectrum's plugins directory. So within distance data, you go into Spectrum. Within Spectrum, you go into plugins, and then right-click new folder, name it custom car, capital C, on both custom and car. Step eight, you're going to move the contents of the custom car zip um, to the custom car folder that you just created. That's it for step eight. Step nine, you're going to want to create a folder called Assets with a capital A within Custom Car. And this should just be right next to dependencies and the other files that you extracted in the previous step. Step 10, um, the mod does not come with any cars. So once you download and install it, even if everything went correctly, you're not going to see anything pop up in your game. You're going to want to go ahead and go to the Google Drive that has all of the custom car files that have been imported to distance and you're going to want to grab one or two of those and then put that inside the assets folder that you just created in step nine. All right, step 11. You're going to want to go ahead and start distance, and if everything went properly, you should just see custom cars pop up in your garage. You should be able to cycle through all of the ones that you've added. If you do not see custom cars pop up, don't worry. It may just mean that you have made a small mistake on one of the steps. Maybe you have slightly misspelled assets when you created the assets folder, or you have spelled it assets with one S. Either way, um, the slightest of mistakes can, can cause things to go wrong. So don't freak out. Um, just go over the steps again and see if you can figure out what you did wrong. 
So a little bit of an addendum here. If you go through the steps again and again, and it's just not working for you, you want to go ahead and start from the beginning because once you've attempted to install this mod once, then the steps that I outline that are necessary for upgrading the mod become necessary once again. So if you're having trouble getting the mod to work, then just go through this guide again. Um, only this time you're going to want to delete some folders like I outlined in step three.